Hey, I'm back. Let's talk more about P6 settings. Today we're talking about resource assignment settings in user preferences. This one is called, so it's on the user preferences calculations tab and it's called, long title, when adding or removing multiple resource assignments on activities. Two options. Okay. So there are two options here. One is preserve units, duration, and units per time on the assignment. Or the second option is recalculate those fields based on the activity's duration type. Wow, that's a really complicated <laughs> group of settings and explanation. Let me tell you what this is about. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate. So let's set this to preserve the unit's duration and units per time. And I have this project open and I'm looking at Paul Kim. Look at the values of original duration. I need an old man here, I'm gonna put my glasses on. Look at the values of duration, units per time, and budget units, okay? Let's assign Paul Kim again to this activity. Paul, watch what happens. This is where the setting takes place. Watch what happens when I assign Paul again. It's more or less a clone all of the values are cloned, the same duration, the same units per time, the same budget units. That is preserving those values. Now, this is the mode that I like to work in, preserve those, because when I add more resources, if I'm building a baseline schedule, I don't want it to go and change my estimated duration on me, or I don't want it to say, make these guys half time by changing the budget units per time. I like to work in this preserve setting, okay? But, so you understand how this works, we can also go back in here and use the recalculate, okay? So recalculate, actually before I do that, let's remove, let's remove this previous assignments. And now let's go back in and tell it to recalculate. Now notice there's another field that comes into play here, the duration type. So recalculate based on duration type. Where's duration type? Duration type is an activity setting. You can find it on the general tab. Every activity has its own duration type. And here you have those four options to pick which fields should get recalculated of those three we were talking about and which should say stay fixed. So just to give you a flavor of what happens here, let's keep the units fixed. And we can go back to the resources tab and let's just assign Paul again. We'll just keep it simple by assigning Paul again. And when I assign Paul again, ah, have a look. My budgeted units, which were 440, got divided between the two assignments based on that duration type. So the duration type of fixed units keeps the total budgeted units uh, fixed and it divides it across the assignments. So that's what this setting does. It allows you to use the duration type field or to ignore the duration type field and preserve the values. Let's go back in there one more time to just have a look. I wanna give you my recommendation and I think I probably made it clear. I like to work in preserved units in time. There are a few situations where I do wanna use duration types when I'm building a baseline schedule, but to be honest, it doesn't happen that often. Let's preserve our values and make sure that we're not changing all of those durations, budget units per time, and units as we assign more resources. I hope you got some value here. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, click like on the channel or subscribe to us and get notified when new videos come up. I'm Michael, we'll see you soon. If you wanna learn more about P6 settings and how to use P6 to manage projects, please check out some of our courses. We have an advanced course we have a foundations course and they would be perfect for you to get your P6 certificate and become a master at Primavera P6.